Tonight we're hearing from the state fire marshal about a fire that tore through a local camp's rec center. This was the scene last night at Camp Ponagansett in Gloucester. It took more than two dozen firefighters several hours to put out the flames. Iowa News News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live in studio with the new details. Kim? Well, Mike, luckily no one was hurt, but the building is now destroyed. Investigators are not ruling anything out just yet, but they say electrical issues might be to blame. Twisted metal is all that remains of the recreation hall at Gloucester's Camp Ponagansett. Uh, when firefighters pulled up, uh, the building was fully involved with fire. Officials say the call for the fire came in around 11.30 Sunday night after a neighbor heard popping and crackling and saw an orange glow out her window. At that point, the fire was already shooting through the roof. Just so much heavy fire, as you can see from the siding melted on the homes. On Monday morning, Michael Sweeney and other members of the state fire marshal's office were on scene investigating. The recreation hall was mostly vacant but used for storage. No one was hurt. The flames were so intense, firefighters were unable to go inside. On Monday morning, investigators were awaiting the arrival of heavy machinery to allow them access to what remains of the building and to attempt to find the cause. That it may be accidental as well. Uh, we're hearing some things that there were some electrical issues in the building, uh, but we're still working the scene to see if we can come to a conclusion. And this fire comes just a day after another fire in the area. Investigators say a vacant home burned to the ground on Wilmarth Street on Saturday night. They believe that fire was intentionally set. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.